Hey YouTube, another one take video from eBay's YouTube. So uh, I, I finished building this standing chair and uh, I'll show you how I get into it. First part is I'm sitting <laughs> and I want to stand up. So these straps kind of fold away nicely so they're not hanging all over the place like my other chair. Main thing, gotta block the knees. Later on, I might put a little foam on here, maybe a foam separator on my knees. That might happen later. So, right now, what's locking me down is um, a little switch that's like right inside this triangle here. So, it's that, that little button right there. And um, just so that little button is um, on this. I had to put that because the lifters kind of, even with these buttons not pressed, the lifters are uh, want to come up. Okay, let's get rid of this watch. There's nothing else back here, is there? <laughs> okay, that's my end. Push track the watch get that out of the way. All right, so um, definitely want to build up. Okay, got my knee strapped, so I'm going to build my chest in. And um, got some other belts stuffed here under the cushion. So, a bit of a process. Probably should have planned this better. Probably don't need both belts, but okay. So now I'm going to release this part down here, which is the safety release. Let's say a couple spring plungers down here. Get a good look at those. Right. So now both of these things have released from the little triangle. The chair kind of sits up a bit. Now I've got a, this trick little thing here. So these are the release and lifter handles. Okay, so both of these are in your spot. And um, <laughs> make sure this is right here catch myself in case something bad happens but uh, they should be safe to stand right now going up gotta press these buttons that releases the lifters I could sit here because as long as I'm not pressing the buttons the uh, lifters are locked in place oh that's easy <laughs> I had to let a lot of air out of the lifters they were pushing with 292 pounds each and I reduced it about four times. I don't even have to lift. I don't want to lift. I want to pull myself back down. But before I let, let air out of these lifters four different times, I, uh, something dropped. All right, so that's maximum. And um, feeling good. Just ate a big load of chicken nuggets. So it feels good to stand up and let some digestion happen. So a few details on what's going on here. Again, we got the lifters. Uh, this chair was custom made by TeamHawk.com, Team HOC, Hands-On Concepts. They built this beautifulness here and uh, came up with this idea. I added these guys to to, so these buttons don't get pressed by accident or get damaged. Um, and of course, the, um, the spring plungers, which are right here, that again, remember that locks, locks me down because that's important. So it's a, uh, there's, 
that's the steering plug, they're out. I'm ready to lock down. But anyway, uh, I came up with this bit. Um, I have the same sort of lock on the uh, prototype design for this uh, very minimalist standing chair. You can uh, move around the place. Uh, you know, you're up at a good, good position. I, um, well, uh, the, uh, <laughs> my, my cushion stash that I put my phone in and all that just dropped one of my little bottles. I should have had that zipped up. And it was a two pocket thing. And I, uh, unlike my other chair, it's not hanging down for looking scrappy. It's uh, tucked away. So a few evolutions on this wheelchair than my other wheelchair. Again, um, I've got the footrest back far enough so that there's no amount of weight that could uh, have me tipping over the casters. The weight is driving down through the heels and it's way behind the casters. I, uh, I gave this chair a little bit longer wheelbase than my other chair. And, and it was all to make sure that um, any kind of moving around uh, wasn't going to tip the whole chair forward. Okay, so now um, I'll just keep filming on this. Right, we're going to, so right now things are still catching. I believe it's the flat spot here catching on to the flat spot here. Uh, and I still got to do some work on that. Um, so anyway, ah, after a nice bit of standing, and uh, standing straighter than the prototype, uh, that was the object of spending all this money. And also the fact that I can uh, be stable at any level up and down these springs. <laughs> That's a nice lift. Still got a good lift to it, but I used to snap. And it was, uh, it was a bit hairy. And of course, coming down was, uh, man, I was just pulling with well over 200 pounds on each hand. I mean, I feel like, I don't know what it was, but um, able-bodied people without all this dead weight to help them were like, they, you know, at some point they could barely do it. So that's all fun. So coming back down is uh, press. And like I said, you can stop and rest at any of the points coming back down. Is tons of fun. Like if you didn't want to lift up all the way, you could just be at this this height and be pretty damn stable. Um, but here we go. Okay, that's hitting. So now if I lean forward, I think yeah, it's actually still not down all the way. Something feels like it's still catching, but let's see. Am I there yet? Yeah, I'm there. So, wow. Already down. That's good. And um, I'm going to shave some aluminum and make sure it's easier to get down. But that was easy enough right there. And um, without without securing the plungers, it kind of sits, sits about here. Um, so if I was out of the chair, every time I get in, it just thumps down like an inch, which, you know, makes noise and sucks. Um, also, this backrest can move forward by itself. Let me just undo all this and show you. So, um, there's the knee belt gone. Okay, so now I'm just in the chair. And say I just transferred out of the chair. It just wants to come up. That's super annoying. So came out with this extra lockdown. That's a, a really good security feature. Um, also, for when I put the stair climbing on this chair, I'm gonna strap it to the to the base, and I don't want. Anyway, it's just annoying to have the base come up. And um, this this backrest is free to move, also, which is another thing. Not a big deal. Um, let me put these back to their resting place. Which is nice. This is this is a really good invention of uh, the good people at Team HOC. 
And then of course to really secure the thing, there, there's that little knob is now locked in there. And I'll do the other side. Okay, so two knobs locked, and there it is. The, the this pack press is oh, the bottom off. Let me see. Unlocking. But anyway, when both of these are pushed through this triangle, um, this backrest is not just moving forward by itself. Anyway, so that's the evolution of the standing chair from that prototype I built back in 2012. And, uh, you stand up and move around, and uh, it's not quite a lockout knee position, but it's standing much taller than my prototype, and it's, um, I would say, I'm really pleased with it. And uh, for a standing chair, this thing with everything on it, backrest, wheels, cushion, is uh, right around 28 pounds, which is uh, 10 pounds lighter than my previous prototype of the standing chair. So there it is. Um, if you want this chair, uh, apparently you can't ask HOC for this exact chair. They'll only build it for you if you have a prototype. But um, that's up to you and HOC, what can I say? So I hope you like this video. Please uh, comment and uh, and like the video. That's what everyone says on YouTube, so I gotta say the same thing. Peace.